Paul. We're uh, very pleased to be here. To uh, borrow a line from Yogi Berra, it's deja vu all over again. It seems like we were just here, and we were. So we're glad to be back. Um, uh, speaking on behalf of the uh, coaching staff and the boys, I, I know this week there was great energy when we practiced uh, because of looking forward to coming back and, and the anticipation of uh, you know playing an unknown team like Vermont, unknown the fact we've not played them this year. And, Try to figure out what we need to do against them. Uh, so lots of excitement. This is a fun time of year for all for all the work these young men have done past summer and then during the season, the ups and downs. Uh, this is a natural reward for them to be here and be part of this, and uh, we're all truly excited. Right now. Yeah, I think so. Uh, just given this momentum coming into the weekend here, uh, get back to our winning ways last weekend, and uh, you know we're all excited. NCAA tournament starting here, and uh, you know, I know the guys are uh, full energy and ready to go. things people look at is we're an upperclassman team. It's pretty mature. A lot of the guys have been in the first round of the tournament before. Um, you know, it's tough to compare two teams. It's, it's real different. I think our strengths are you know, our depth. Uh, we can roll three lines that can score pretty well. And uh, you know, I think on any given night our game matched up pretty well. And that was you know, the way it was in 06 as, as well. You know, we felt that we wanted it as much as the other guys we'd be able to pull it off. And I think that group feels the same way. How much does that experience help you? Uh, I mean, I think a little bit. I mean, it's familiar, but, uh, you know, it's still, once the puck drops, kind of goes out the window, you still got to play your game. Ryan, you're, you're playing against a team that's big, physical. Does your team match up well with a big, physical type team like Vermont? Yeah, I think so. I think, you know, uh, we, we prepare for teams. Pretty similar every time. We got to make sure we get pucks in deep against a, a team of this size. Um, they kind of clog up the middle a lot. We can't be uh, fancy in the neutral zone. Um, we got to really use our speed, I think, against this team. Um, and we got guys that can move more with the puck, and if they get some open ice on them, uh, it can be dangerous. So we got to make sure we get pucks in deep against them, and, and just kind of grind them for all three periods. <coughs> No, I, I think it is. I think it is good that we're back here in uh, Minnesota. Uh, we're familiar with the area. Um, you know, the time we stay on the same time uh, change. There's no time change if we went on east. So that's another positive. Uh, we're familiar with the locker rooms. I think we've been in every single one of them now uh, for the last couple weekends here. So that's good. Um, you know, we're all familiar with the area. Um, I think it's. Uh, I think it's a positive. Definitely coming. Uh, coming back to Minnesota. You start right in the goal line. They've got a very athletic uh, young man in the nets. Uh, he reminds me a little bit of a maybe a smaller version of Mark Andre Fleury. He's got the ability to make a big save. He's quick side to side. Got a good glove. So I think he's one of their strengths. Uh, obviously, uh, you take a look at their blue line. They take up a lot of space physically. Um, and again, they they uh, they play well together. And they're trying to put you in situations where. You have to make decisions with the pucks, and if you make poor decisions, that's when they're going to try to score on you and counter back and, and hurt you that way. So, uh, in watching on film and talking to different people, that's what we feel their strengths are. Coach, I know you've been at this before, but as you guys embark on the NCAA tournament run, how does this team compare to 2006 when you want to know? Well, the way that we've answered this question is that any any caliber team, uh, championship caliber team, or a team that has a good record, has some fundamental strengths. Goaltending, good defensive blue line, and then talented people up front. And then everybody plays well together and is competitive. I, I think this group is similar to that group in 06. The difference is, and then why it's hard to compare, as, as Ben Street was alluding to, is the fact that each team has its own personalities. Uh, and, and I think this team has a different per, uh, sense of personality than team did in 06, different characters, dis different cast of characters, any way you want to put it, but it's it's the personality of the team that differs, but the reason the team is good is because of those fundamental things we just mentioned. 
Mike, uh, the Vermont kids were in here earlier and said that the uh, key for them would be to get off to a good start. They didn't feel they did so against Boston College. I know you'd like your team to also get off to a good start. How would we know if your team's off to a good start, you know, barring putting the puck in the back of the net? How do you know when your team is, is on its game early? We can go right back to last week in our first game and the fact that it was three or four times up the ice before we got the puck in behind the defenseman. We had the right ideas, we didn't execute, and we weren't sharp and decisive. If we have that sharpness and decisiveness and getting the puck in behind the defense, then that will give us a good good start in getting the start that we want. Mike, following up with Ryan's answer about physical team, is there a team, is there someone else on that list that you would have, that you'd add? Or oh, absolutely. Team? Anchorage, Mankato, Michigan. Uh, we played a bunch of teams that uh, their strength is their heart. So it's, it's nothing new. Uh, it, it truly isn't. And, uh, you know, it, it's just a matter of how we handle it. Coach, uh, do you have a good story or anything that you can share with us what you remember the last time you were involved in a game against Vermont? Obviously, it was a pretty good scoring game for you. Yeah, the first person that's brought that up, actually, Brian Posick, brought it up that we had played in my freshman year. Uh, it was my second college game, and uh, it was at home. And, uh, that night, I was in the right spot at the right time four different times. <laughs> and I was uh, never expected that, but uh, that was a long time ago. It's funny you bring that up.